I'm Danny 702 and welcome to Las Vegas. Today we are on a mission. A mission to find the best street tacos in all of Las Vegas, or at least on Las Vegas Boulevard for now. We are currently on the Las Vegas Boulevard where food choices can be overwhelming. I'm here to help you decide where to go because your vacation time is valuable. Today we are tackling one of my favorite foods of all time, tacos. I have a few things on my list to meet the criteria and narrow down our options. So one, prices of the tacos must be affordable. So that actually knocked off a lot of things on my list. Some of the tacos were about $5 and up for a single taco. Number two, it has to be located on the Las Vegas Boulevard, at least for now. You must be able to order the tacos a la carte, which knocked out all of the sit-down restaurants. Five, it must be authentic Mexican food, no Taco Bell or anything like that. And number five, they have to have at least 100 reviews on Google and they have to have an above of a 3.5, which left us with four places to stop at Let's go, let's do it. First up, Tacos Mexico. Tacos Mexico came in with a 3.7 star rating on Google with 1,300 reviews. This spot is on Las Vegas Boulevard behind the Strat, so it's north and away from the busy spots of the Strip, but they do have multiple locations around Las Vegas. It is a standalone building with easy access, not the best part of the Las Vegas Strip, but hey, I'm in for tacos. Tacos Mexico's story goes back to 1975 when the founder began making authentic Mexican tacos using a family recipe in a food truck. It was such a hit that it led to opening their first brick and mortar in 1977 in Los Angeles, which is still open today. Then they opened more restaurants around Southern California and expanded their menu. They now have over a hundred locations around California, Arizona, and Nevada. All their meats are seasoned, marinated, and cooked right here on site. All right, now here's a look at their menu. They do have asada, pastor, cabeza, carnitas, pollo, chorizo, lengua even, that's a good sign. Their tacos are $2.99 when you order a la carte. Of course, they've got other things on the menu. Quesadillas, burritos, nachos, french fries, menudo. We have a serve your own salsa bar three different kinds of salsas. Then they have an assortment of other items you can put on your tacos. No, I think we're gonna try to stick with ordering the same kind of thing, if we can, if all of the menus have it. So we got a carne asada taco and then an El Pastor taco. And we got all three of the salsas that were at the salsa bar. All right, so this is the El Pastor. So Eddie was saying that it was a little bit more chopped than what we're used to, which I guess is pretty true. A little dry if I'm completely honest but that's probably because we didn't put enough salsa on it. It did come without the salsa so you put it on yourself so we just might not know the right combination for this particular place since this is the first time we've ever been here. It's interesting it's a different flavor than what I'm used to uh, for El Pastor but I can't put my finger on it. It's different. Oh, what's what though? So I'm a little afraid of putting other. I'm gonna try whatever this one is and see if, <laughs> see if it helps. So, um, the asada is cooked really well. It's, it's, it's good. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> <So> spicy. <laughs> I thought the other one was gonna be spicy, but it's more red. But I like it spicy, so it actually helps for me. Woo, baby boy, that's a hot one. I like the asada. The asada was the way to go. The pastor I didn't care for, but the uh, asada is definitely really good here. On a scale of one to ten. Five. <laughs> I'm gonna say six. Our next stop is 664 TJ Biria. This must be the taco corner because three of the places on our list is located right on this corner. This is another spot you can drive right up to and not pay for any parking. I couldn't find too much history on this spot, but we know that TJ stands for Tijuana, Mexico. There were about 300 reviews on Google and it came in at a 4.3 star review. The tacos here will be a bit different than our other stop with the menu focusing on birria or birria taco. Birria is a traditional Mexican dish which is normally served as a stew or a taco filling and it's made from a combination of meats and chili peppers and other delicious flavors. We got the tacos corn tortilla shredded beef stew and it came out to four dollars and we got two of them. These tacos are a lot bigger. They're like the size of my hand. We have the corn tortillas, which are very, very hot. They're steaming hot. They're burning my fingers. So the tacos are $4 each. We have two tacos, so it was over $8 with taxes. Normally, with birria tacos, it comes with a side of its stew, of its juices. Here, 
we had to pay an extra three dollars to get the stew which was a little frustrating that brought my price up to about twelve dollars but look at that Ooh, yeah this is good this has got good flavor even better with the chili <laughs> very spicy spicy but it's good but look at i'm starting to go oh yeah right you're now. starting to get hot it's already 100 degrees outside <laughs> That's good. Though. All right, you like it? I would definitely recommend it. Okay, even though the, the sauce was over another $3? Yeah. It's worth, it's it? worth it? Okay. It's definitely missing something, so I think I'm going to add the salsa. Just a little bit. I don't know how hot it was. That even seemed like you were sweating earlier. It's better with the salsa? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's hot. It took a second. But um, it's good. I like it. Not my favorite taco, though. Um, it is a little pricey. It was $4 for just the taco and then $3 for the stew. I think I'm just a little bit annoyed by that. In my head, I thought it was going to be together, but hey, it's uh, the year 2022. <laughs> it's good. I like it. Not my favorite. And I do really like the juice. I think it's just missing something. I, I'm used to really powerful flavors when it comes to Mexican food. It's at least how my grandma makes it. And it's a little lacking in the seasoning for me. I'm going to get redder and redder as this video goes. Those salsas are pretty spicy. This is the building with the Vieta Tacos. Also, our other stop will be right here at Tacos El Pastor. Swing around this way. This next building is where we're heading to next for Tacos El Gordo. This is a location that we are very familiar with, Tacos El Gordo, one of our favorite spots, a very well-known spot for tacos here in Las Vegas. They do have a few spots around town, and I read they're building another location south of the Las Vegas Strip, coming in at 4.3 stars with over 10 thousand reviews. Tacos El Gordo is also from Tijuana, Mexico. They are family owned and operated and they've been doing so since 1972. The first Vegas location opened in 2010 and they've expanded to bigger restaurants because they are that good. The food has been very consistent, excellent, great quality, and watching them make the food right in front of you gives it that special touch. They even make the corn tortillas right in front of you as you order, and their ingredients are fresh with salsa being made from scratch every day. So you'll have to make sure you're under the right number. For instance, right now I'm here under number seven. This is where you order El Pastor. So you can order the sopas, the tacos, the quesadillas for the pastor. Next door we've got the fries. Further down you've got the asada, so same thing. Tacos, sopas, quesadillas, tortadas, back to the asada, and so forth as you go down. Just make sure you're under the right meat that you want, and then you'll order the meal that you want for that meat. A single taco will cost you $3.43, and as you can see, they've got other items on the menu. The last two places, we had to dress up our tacos ourselves. Here, they put the toppings on already, so it depends on what kind of meats that you're getting. They're gonna complement it with a certain sauce or a certain salsa, or over here, for instance, a guacamole on top of the asada. So the asada looks like it also has some sort of red salsa in there. I don't know what they put on the El Pastor, but it's freaking amazing. It's like maybe a green salsa, creamy avocado, quite possibly cilantro salsa. This is the only stop on our list today that we've actually been to. The other places we've never been to before. Probably because we know we like it here, so we come here pretty constantly. I, I already know that I prefer the El Pastor over the Asada. They're both amazing, but which one do you want to try first? I think you like the asada over the pastor. Just filled. So much meat. The tacos are a little smaller, but they fill it with meat. Overloaded. And then even though there's already enough salsa on here, as you can see, there's like plenty of salsa. It's not like soggy or anything like that. Oh my god. Good. Nine out of ten. A little bit of room for improvement. So this is delicious. They brought out a whole thing of just fresh meats, cooked it right in front of you, diced it right in front of you. It's just so awesome to watch all that. And then watch them make the tortillas, handmade tortillas. Not an easy thing to make. By far, that's been the best. That was the first one that I ate everything. The other ones I've taken just a few bites. It's so insanely flavorful. All of those flavors complement each other so insanely well. They just go hand in hand. They, they, they had to perfect that because it's like 
The meats are seasoned really well. It's like flame broiled, so you can make, you can taste that sort of charcoal, I guess, maybe. Is that, I'm not sure if I'm using the right word. Um, the salsa in the El Pastor is very, very creamy. Uh, there is a slight citrus flavor, probably a little bit of lime in there. Insane how good those flavors go together. It was incredible. Incredible. What's good about it? Ah, uh, super juicy, fresh, the flame broiled. Used to it, you can like taste the, the charcoal. You can taste like the, the quality. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Super tender. Okay, and then a uh, one out of ten. Uh, I like up there, like nine point five. Nine point five. I don't know what's perfect. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Maybe that's perfect. <laughs> We still have one spot left. Pretty cool. Can you do another taco? I have always room for one more. <laughs> Our last stop on the list is Tacos El Pastor, which is actually in the same building that Tacos El Gordo used to be in until they moved just like what a couple steps away. Tacos El Pastor is the highest rating on our list at 4.4 stars with 1600 reviews. Honestly I would think that it would be tough being so close to such high competitions like Tacos El Gordo but sometimes the line at El Gordo is crazy long and when you're hungry or maybe you're hangry this option might be the better. Let's just see if the food is just as good. Now their website was down when I was doing research so I don't have a backstory on Tacos El Pastor so we're just gonna have to judge on taste. Tacos here are gonna run you $3.79. The line follows the same concept as Tacos El Gordo. You gotta get in line for the meat that you want. We got the same sort of lineup as we did next door. We have the carne asada and it has sort of the same toppings so like a guacamole and then a salsa underneath that then we also got pastor of course at tacos el pastor which also looks similar with the creamy avocado uh, salsa on top of it we also got a bonus <laughs> because he uh we asked for no onions and he actually put onions on it so they kind of threw in this taco for free now that we're at the end and we're pretty full we got the bonus taco <laughs> but this looks really good. There's so much meat on here that I feel like it's gonna be hard to take a bite. That's gonna be a big bite. The meat is a little crunchy, which is kind of nice. So I can definitely taste the cilantro. I can definitely taste the avocado salsa, a little bit of lime in there. I can definitely taste the marinated meat. They didn't blend together as well as the last one, but this is still in extremely good. They still um, complement each other really well. But I feel like I can taste them individually a little bit more. I'm not sure how or why, but that's a good taco. This looks like it's gonna be messy. There's a lot of that avocado salsa on top of it. It's a little less seasoned than I guess I want it to be, but that's okay. Some people wanna taste that smoky flavor over the seasoned flavor, so that's gonna definitely vary by person to person. But look how much meat is in here. I mean, I believe this one is 30 more cents than the last spot. That's still a great amount of meat. I would say Tacos El Gordo has too long of a line. Definitely come into Tacos El Pastor. Spicy. Spicy? It has the salsa and this is different. It's not as charcoal. Huh. You don't taste like the charcoalness, you know? But uh, I prefer the Tacos El Gordo. All right, after all four stops, what's gonna be your favorite? Hands down, Tacos El Gordo. <laughs> Hands down, Tacos El Gordo. That place is just like special. It's amazing. Very fresh. It's good flavor. so good, you guys. It's always busy. Best tacos in Las Vegas, at least. Best street tacos. On the Las Vegas Strip. For sure. Yes, absolutely. Great choices all around. But if you're going to stop at one, make it Tacos El Gordo. Fantastic food. What is your favorite taco spot in Las Vegas? I would love to do more, maybe in downtown and some of the more local areas in Las Vegas. So if you have a favorite, leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.